Dang, if this bill is huge, I am not going to be able to afford anything. I really hate my job. No, that's not true. I don't hate, hate my job. I just wish that I was working on my passion, my dream, full time. I just didn't go to school to be a nanny. I went to school to act. At the same time, I'm going to pay my bills. Akoya, God is good. God is good stuff. I really do not want to commute four hours tomorrow on the train. It's cold as hell. Job. You won't be able to pay a videographer, and then your show will slow down, and then everything that you worked so hard for will just stop. Why did that private investigator come to mommy's house? I hope I don't go to jail. Wait, what if I go to jail? I'm too cute to go to jail. Shit. No, I'm not going to go to jail. I'm not going to go to jail. No, you need to be thankful to Akoya. You need to be thankful and you need to be grateful because God gave you a roof over your head and clothes on your back and food on so your fast. table and you are blessed. You, can, you are not a product of your circumstance. You are a victor, not a victim. I don't know how long I can keep working two jobs like this. I'm getting so fat. Ugh, I'm getting so much weight. I haven't worked out in like months. I need to get back in the gym. I don't have time to go to the gym. I'm so tired. How many hours are you commuting? I'm so tired. Me today was so long. I cannot, literally, I cannot work any more than I'm working right oh, now. Oh, wait. Oh, I knew there was something I forgot to do. I gotta pay that food stamp bill. Darkway, if you I don't can't believe a private bill, investigator showed up to mommy's you house looking for your wages could be garnished. If your wages are garnished, jail. then... No, I'm, I'm no, oh, man, I'm, then they'll contact for jail. Lawyer. Lawyer. I really don't want these people all up in my business. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? I wonder how many I'm percentages so they take out. Really need to take on your wages. To not able to pay my rent. Oh, and then what if I have to sit move o'clock. back home with mommy or quit and go to sleep? That's not a good go list. to sleep like 29. And live oh, on my, my arm hurts so bad. For the size of my heart beating so fast. That's okay. Just try to well, try to go to sleep. really almost morning. I gotta go to sleep. Mm -mm. If you don't go to sleep, you won't be able to deal with this kid in the morning. I just need to go to sleep. I just need some sleep. I just need some rest. And tired. And you need to go to sleep. Why is my heart beating so fast? <sighs> my chest hurts a little bit. My chest is tight. That's okay. Oh, snap. Be strong. Keep going. You are resilient. I wonder if I'm having a heart attack. You are strong, you are resilient, you are powerful, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <sighs> let me, let, let me Google this. No, don't Google it, because if you Google it, you're going to freak out. But my arm is really hurting. Okay, let's Google it just to make sure. hurts when you have a heart attack. Just try to stay calm. Stay calm. Wait, you gotta do something. What if you have a stroke? I'm too young. I have my whole life ahead of me. I cannot have a stroke.
breathe. Why is my chest so tight? Why can't I breathe? Oh my god. Oh my god. My heart's racing. Okay, I think I need to go to the hospital. Oh shit, but I don't have health coverage. Mommy? Yes? I can't breathe. I think I'm having a heart attack. Okay, Koya. All right, so what I need for you to do is I need for you to check your pulse, and I need a full, um, a full uh, 15 seconds. And you let me know what it is. You have a watch on. You have your, you got your, your, your cell phone there? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. All right, so uh, put it on a timer. Full 15 seconds. And, and you just want to just stay calm. Okay. Okay. Are you feeling any pressure on your chest? Yeah. You feeling pressure? So exactly where is the pressure? What, how is the pressure feeling? Is it feeling heavy? Do you have any pain? Yeah, my, my right arm is hurting. Your right arm is hurting? Okay. All right. So we need, we need to check your pulse here, all right? So let's check it for 15 seconds. How do you check a pulse? Okay, you put your you put your, your hand on your wrist, on your wrist, and right on the outside of your wrist, and you feel a thumping sound. You, yeah, you should, you should feel it, you should feel it. Um, Okay. Do you feel I, it? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All righty. So um, let's be quiet and, and calm down. And I know you've been going through a lot of stress lately. So let's let's get that number first. Okay. So put your timer on. I'm on. Okay. And, and I need for you to count it uh, for 15 seconds. Just count it. Four, it says 14. 14, oh good, okay. So that's a great number because we multiply that by uh, by four. That means your pulse is doing good. You're not, your blood pressure is likely not high. Um, so I, I think um, you, you lately, you've been going through a lot of things, a whole lot of stress. I know we talked a few uh, days ago and all the things that's been going on, you've been trying to balance it you know, um, your finances, uh, your job, and all those things, okay? So, what it appears to me here uh, is it, more of an anxiety attack, only because I know the history and what you've been going through. So, let's do some mindfulness right now. Let's do some breathing and being able to really release some of that stress. Um, I know you don't have a blood pressure machine, but right now your pulse is not indicative it doesn't indicate you have a high blood pressure. It sounds like it's more of a panic or anxiety. An anxiety attack? I don't have anxiety attacks. I thought anxiety attacks were for weak women. Yeah, no, you, you gotta understand that you have a brain just like any other person, you know? Remember God made us all the same? It doesn't mean that just because you're black or white or whatever the case may be, and just because you are uh, accustomed to being around strong, okay. strong women in your life or strong people uh, in your life, that you're not going to experience some of the same things physiologically, okay? So what I need for you to do is I need for you really to just lie down, and we're going to do some deep breathing, and we're going to do some mindfulness, okay, so that we can be able to release some of that stress that's on you so and your mind be able to calm down so let's let's do some breathing 
some mindfulness and some breathing. And mindfulness is this. You're going to kind of take some of those things out of your mind through breathing. So let's breathe in. Okay. Breathe out. And look at this as though that you're releasing some of those negative thoughts and some of those things that have burdened you. Let's do another one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think about the time when you had the most happiest time of your life. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. So what you need to be thinking about right now is some self-care. Really, truly making sure that you start your exercise program again. Not to the point of feeling like you need to check off the box. You need to do things that's going to make you feel good. And it doesn't necessarily have to be kickboxing. It can be walking. It can be, you know, going going to the park, doing something physical, reading a physical book. Doing those things that make you feel good. Get the, get, you know, some of those things like sugar and things like that out of your life that um, is not healthy. So it's called self-care. And really transition from a work that's taking all of your time to a work that's going to allow you to be your whole person and be your creative self. So self-care, however way you do it personally, is important for you. How are you feeling? All right, so. Can you stay on the phone until I go to sleep? I sure can. I'll stay right here with you on the phone until you go to sleep. Are you feeling pain still on, on your arm? And I know that may be from some inflammation or it may be from a variety of things. Now, if you continue to experience this pain, then we do need to call 911. But how are you feeling? My arm doesn't hurt anymore. I just, I couldn't breathe. And I oh, thought okay. that I couldn't breathe and I just, it's like I didn't have control over my body anymore. Yeah, that can be a panic attack or it could be an anxiety attack. People have those when you're just really stressed out to the point of no return and gripping and running all the time, all day long. It's almost like you gotta get some time for yourself where you're just in your time, in your 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 element, in your space where you can truly relax and not feeling that you gotta work, 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 work all the time. Because you're so used to accomplishing things, but you're at this point where you've done that, you've accomplished things. Now it's time to really do some self-care and some introspection, be creative, okay. but not to the point of where it's just, just working you to the bone. I can stay on the phone with you until you go to sleep. Okay. okay. Love you. I love you too. And, and remember also, Candles, hot baths, all those great things are good for you. I'll stay on this phone with you, and don't you worry about it. <laughs>